National Guard caches in days. We'll update when more are found. You heard that. No signs of National Guard caches in days, although we had a couple in the last few days. We'll update if any are found. So we are post aftershocks. We are after aftershocks. Welcome to the Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. We're playing the Rift version on an Oculus Quest 2 through virtual desktop. Before we get started, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 10,000 subscribers. It'd be amazing if you were one of them. Also like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video or the game or the Aftershocks DLC. Leave it in the comments. Let's get to it. It is day 109 and we have no tasks. We have completed Aftershocks. The bus is pretty messy again. And so we're gonna see what life is like after Aftershocks. So let's uh, kit ourselves out. Um, I think we'll go with maybe Absolution today. Not that one. Because that one's about to bust. Uh, we'll go with uh, 9mm sidearm. That one's pretty good. We'll go with uh, Cleaver. Load up on our meds. Health is pretty good. I don't think we have to do anything there. Uh, maybe we'll take the bow, maybe not. Let's see. Maybe we'll take the bow as a backup. That'll go there. What's the condition? Let's just check. Oh, the condition's great. So, we'll take a backup cleaver and a backup 9mm. 364 rounds, is that what that said? Whoo, hot damn. Okay, and then we'll make ourselves uh, an absolution or two. So, we finished Aftershocks, and all we got was this creepy hood ornament. So, we're gonna go to Bastion, and we're gonna have a, hey, it turned. Ooh, that's eerie. I didn't put it like that. Let's see if it turns again. Evil. Uh, we're gonna go to Bastion. We're gonna take a closer look at the secret room. So there's gonna be some aftershock spoilers. Hey, I don't remember these plants. That's fun. Anything else after Aftershocks? I'm not seeing anything here. So let's just get to it. I'm not sure if the... Oh wait, we're going to make some Absolutions. Woo! Absolutely forgot. Only 58 shafts. Not a lot of shafts. Did that actually go on our shoulder or am I like... Oh yeah, we got it. Okay. We'll see how the beheading with Absolution goes now that uh, we have the update. Because beheading with the cleaver and fourth and pain is a bit different. I think it's uh, if you get the right distance where just the tip of the blade is hitting the neck, the front of the neck, then it works really well. But if the. Uh, don't know, don't know all these mysteries. Curious. What I was saying is if you get too close to them, then it becomes much more difficult to uh, to behead. But we'll see how it works with Absolution. So we're going to go hard with the, the UV light. I missed these arrows before. I'm assuming that is telling you how to get to the secret room to use the keys leading you to the Axeman's hideout. So, yeah, we're just going to see what's different, see what we can see with the UV. So there's NPCs. 
I guess there could be patrols. I really don't know. So there's another arrow leading us to the house with the crashed car. Right, that's right on the tip. If you hit the neck, right with the end of the sword, that's the distance you want. Hmm. Our first post aftershocks beggar. They're all cut up. The wounds need to heal. Bandages? It's gonna give you meds. Thank you so much. You just saved us. This is for you. Yeah, this means almost nothing now. Okay. So we got some arrows on the ground leading us to the house. There's another one. Not much else lit up. That looks like a sick one. See, right on the end. He's kind of stuck on the flashlight there. Let's see if we can taunt him a bit. Hey, buddy. How you doing? How you doing? Huh? Huh? You doing all right? You having some fun over there? Huh? You doing good? Yo. This guy coming around. Whoa. That little spring in his step. Okay. Not seeing any more UV messages. Oh. House with three keyholes. So, I mean, that's a dead giveaway, I would say. Monster lives here. Find the secret. Watch for the monster. The secret is inside. Be careful. Monster lives here. Find the keys. So if you were to come here without the keys, you'd get all these messages too. But you don't get the UV light. The tactical flashlight. Until you've come to Bastion and gone back to the resting place once. So it's only if you return to Bastion that you'll be able to see this stuff. House with three keyholes. So, the secret is inside. Monster lives here. Run if you see him. Killer exists. So, a lot of people are saying they're, they're disappointed with the ending. And the way I see it is um, this particular part, the house and the keys... That's kind of the post credit scene. The ending was the big showdown at uh, Via Carola, where you take on both the uh, tower and the reclaimed. Run if you see him. Yeah, so it's just kind of repeating itself now. Watch for his axe. So that's a reference to the axe man. So now let's head inside and we'll have a closer look. Find the keys. I'm curious to see if it's still going to be uh, accessible in here. Hopefully, not like the church where it's like a one and done. It's not like much was going on in this house before. Oh yeah, still open. So not seeing anything else, but let's have a look down there. Hopefully we can climb down without falling. Be careful. Oh. get the triggers again so we'll have a look at the notes in a second I just want to make sure we didn't miss anything down here we have the UV light on and we got lots of food still so we'll clear this out 
on the map in the bus under UV it says R2. So wasn't sure that meant return to Bastion to use the keys, or as someone else suggested, reserve to. Because we have all this food here, you could consider this safe room kind of mini reserve. So we have a looks like a guitar case and a flat on one side. Let me know in the comments if that's a different instrument. Unless that's some sort of axe case, and that's why it's kind of oddly shaped. So let's have a closer look here. So this fellow's been doing some work already. Armor is kind of beat up. Food, water, meds, find list weapon, armor, food, water. Roberto sauce. What is that drawing of? Death. John Williams, Nathan Johnson, French Quarter, Alive, Family, Dune, Maybe Dead, Lock Him, Cargo, interesting, Tower Scum, Kill Them All, Avoid French Quarter, Bell locations. What does this say? Police station. Hmm. Improvised weapons. Control the horde by using the bells. There's the bell. Can't play any of these, can we? No, I didn't think so. Is there something back there? We got papers like like the house in Old Town. Stacks of papers. Let's see what's over here now. More death and alive. I think that's a dupe. Search for bells. My birthday cake. Go to French Quarter. More esteemed mortal. Schedule weapons. Tower guard taking over the house. Weakness. Yeah, okay, attack the temple. What does that say? Weakness, attack. I'm not sure of those last two words. Mansion was empty. Get out. So, I mean, <laughs> this looks like, you know, another player's bus. Is what it looks like. Um, I'm not sure what that would mean. The list of names. What is that? Restricted access sector secure blast door. Where is this building? Emergency security protocols, key plan. Okay, so that's a house with a big bunker. Pressure relief system overview, armory. Oh, so is that the church? Is that the reserve? That does kind of look like the radio room, the reserve. The comms room, so that's interesting. Pump station number one, pump station number two. Okay, what else do we have? Anything in the recycling bin? We're on a time limit here, the bells are back in effect. But it's already worth our while, having stocked up on the food here. Anything under your pillow, Axeman? No. Climb up here. No. Okay. 
drain. Hmm. Get up there, nothing. All right, let's just have a look at, uh, what would it be? Reserve, oh, remnants. So that's half bells. Let's get, try to get to the bottom here. Hit list. Yeah, so at first I thought these were maybe the Axeman's victims, but they don't line up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, it looks like. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And I think the Axeman only had twelve victims. But there is a couple here, B. Harvey and K. Harvey. So that would line up. And then what else do we have? The postcard, which is greetings from French Quarter. Ooh, I didn't see the back. See you soon. New Orleans, a little blood splatter. Um, what's the Mirabella journal entry? I don't know what the photograph. Yeah, we don't care about the photograph so I don't think I think we only got the uh, postcard and the hit list from down here okay Mirabella this time oh, yeah. you're not forgetting this time you're writing it down like David always tells you so that's that's okay? from the ward okay step one I don't know how we can Bring cancel that to the upstairs oh no that's from bedroom. Bywater step two it's from the, the cash Bar mission the at door. Bywater don't so let's head forget upstairs. to jiggle the handle Step Keep three. looking around. Pop the propane ah. tanks in that house that we'll looks do maybe like a, Uncle Polly hit that a little bit of a circuit with the... after the bachelor party. Ah. Step five, and most important, keep your with head down, light, keep your mouth shut, a and bastion. do what you're told around these reclaimed creepies. Ugh, it'll all be worth it when the clubs are back open. You'll be laughing about all this dead people walking crap while sipping a Negroni. Okay, you got this. Girl. Yeah, sipping Negronis. Every time I drop down here, somebody's behind me. So we got quite a few here. Let's just uh, thin the herd a bit before we drop down. Whoa, there's a lot out there. Let's get ourselves a good spot to defend. And we'll reload. Whoa! We gotta get them to back off a bit. Oh, you don't. Let me get him over there. He's not going. Get that way. You get that way. You get that way. Back off. there. Okay. We lost some of our weapons. Hi, yay. Let's go get our weapons back. We still have our cleaver, so we only lost absolution there. I think. Let's get these arrows back. Was not expecting that, so I think the uh, walker distribution or behavior has changed somewhat. That would have been quite a rarity in uh, the pre-update. 76 arrows, so we're good with arrows. Who's that? <coughs> we should actually take some meds.
that we should have taken the bigger meds. No bandage. Mm. Okay, so I don't think I went around the other way. In my uh, Aftershocks playthrough, so we'll just uh, have a peek over on this side. Hopefully that situation won't repeat. our condition on the bow like. Um, I was going to go to absolution, but just because I want to keep the bow in case of another horde. All right. Oh, so that's a uh, medical cache where that would be. And shaking now. Huh, interesting uh, fire. Ah, no, I didn't want to. Actually, we'll leave that over our shoulder. Didn't want to take the head. I don't need it. I have no need of heads. Okay. Seen any more UV hints? We're gonna have a bunch over here, just as it's a big area. But hopefully, we can uh, manage them just with absolution. Right, get them at the right distance, which is the very extent of absolution's range. And don't swing too fast. It's uh. Kind of slow and steady is best. Okay. Not noticing anything different. Medical cash indicator. Base cases, looks like. some tight quarters in here so that's I guess food cache location we may switch to the nine millimeter for in here just because it's a bit tight for swinging absolution but we'll just go around the corner back up into the the skip there propane propane hmm Nothing up there. There is a gate here we can get to. Can we? Maybe not. Oh yeah, we can go through there. So, that's the house. What's this house? It just lets us get around to the back, I think. Yeah, we gotta head to the skiff. It's open? No. No handle. And that one? No. Yeah. 
So that was the first swing hit his arm. You know, the flailing arms can definitely be a problem. And that's what I'm noticing after this update. If you miss your first swing, then uh, they get to maul you if you try to swing again. So if you miss your first swing, I would suggest grabbing them by the head, pushing them back, or grabbing them by the head, and then making your next swing. Ooh, our first After Aftershocks mugger. Hello, friend. What say you? The only thing- Get out of my face! I'm in your face. Hmm. That's new. Well, Absolution's gonna break. Nice rain textures. We didn't do any buffs today. Did we? Plum forgot. Sometimes there's walkers in this area, so be on your guard. Yeah, we have our bow over the shoulder. All right. Good timing. So here you go, a little closer look at the Axeman's hideout. is a pegboard. And a little jaunt around Bastion. And we're back to just complaining about how dirty the bus is. Let's get that out of there. I don't like it under there. Let's put it over here with our other stash of boards when we get around to making some more shelves. There we go. Okay. We have a spot. There we go for that. Okay, let's unload the weapons. Alright, we'll scrap this uh, absolution that's about to go anyway. Alright, what else did we have? Nine mil. There we go. And this other absolution. I have a spot for over here. That's fine. Okay, let's. Whoops. Okay, yeah, R2. And Bastion. Interesting. Not seeing anything else in here. Whoa, look at that. Huh. I think I checked. All right. <laughs> That's where guns go, sure. Let's do our scrapping. Seemed like more that we picked up than that. No, that's it. Well, there you go. Day 109 of The Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners, post Aftershocks. We got a cleaver in the ceiling. We'll sort that out tomorrow. We're playing the Rift version on an Oculus Quest 2 through Virtual Desktop. If you haven't already, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 10,000 subscribers, be great if you were one of them. Also, like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what you think of the Axeman's hideout and the end of Aftershocks. All that good stuff is appreciated.
Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.